hates you. She even took your letter and she threw it in the bin. She will never come to see you. She doesn't consider it? Not even for a second? Not even for a second. She did? She did? I see it in your eyes. Oh, well, that's, that's comforting. <laughs> what are you playing at here, Sunny? Oh, I did make it perfectly clear. I did tell you I'll be discussing this DNA test with your mother. So you did the test? Oh, did I tell your mother? Maybe, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. So when will I get the results? You'll get the results when and if I decide to give them to you. What? Shut up. Who do you think you're dealing with here? You think you can come in here, shake your little ass, tell me I might be Shriya's father and expect me to do as you say, is that it? Because you're a Rampasad and I'm a prisoner. No, <sighs> no, 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 no. No, I will decide when and how things will unfold. I will control things from now on. Don't come back here. Imagine my surprise when I was called to come to the doctor's office for the second time today. Well, some patients make it difficult for you to do otherwise. Oh, I thought you were home already. Getting cosy with the wife. Thought you'd forgotten about our business. Left everything, you know, incomplete, bothersome. I got your message. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. As you so eloquently pointed out, I am stuck in here with absolutely no reach into the outside world. Cut it out. I know it was you. Well, then you know I'm serious. Are we doing this or not? There's a chemical that I can inject into your bloodstream. It will affect your kidneys and show up on medical tests. Now you're talking. I understand. This will cause irreparable kidney damage and at the very worst, it, it could stop your heart. Sounds perfect. You don't understand. When I put this into your bloodstream, I can't control it. You will die unless you get immediate medical attention. Then you better make sure that doesn't happen, doctor. You came to me for help. I saved you, I saved your career. You owe me at least some respect and gratitude, don't you think? It's true. You did help me. But that doesn't wipe away everything that you've done to me before. To my family, to my father, my real father. I don't trust you and I never will. You're just like me. The same defiance and determination, the same fire. I am nothing like you. And please don't send me any more gifts or flowers. I don't want them. You shouldn't take my gifts for granted, Shriya. This won't take long. I have an awards function to get to. But you know all about that, don't you? Please, Maharaj. I told you that I've done everything that I can. I'm not the only person on the voting panel here. You made me a promise. Yes, I but... don't like people who break their promises. But don't worry, we're not going to bruise that pretty face of yours. You still have to take pictures with the winner tonight. Now, I don't know what you're going to do or how you're going to do it. But Shriya will be that winner. You have to realize that I'm responsible for all the good things that happen in your life. No. See, a mirage deserves only the very best. And as my daughter, the good things will just keep on happening to you. That's my promise. You know, you do look beautiful, by the way. Look at my beautiful daughter. Just put that away. <laughs> Why, it's a beautiful pic. Funny thing, it doesn't say anything in here about you returning the award. Well, you already know that I didn't give back the award, so don't act like you need to read it off the internet. And why did you call me here to gloat? No, 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 I called you here so we can have lunch to celebrate, you and I. Oh, come on, that's not the reason and you know it. Oh, maybe there was another reason. I just wanted to see if you were ready to admit that you're more like me than you care to let on. <sighs> I'm glad we got a chance to connect since you want to join our family. Our family? That's funny in light of how you're dividing the family. Ordinarily, I'd uh, take offense at that remark, but since it's coming from an outsider, I'll, uh, I'll let it slide. 
think you forget, Sunil. I'm the man who's going to marry Shreya. You sure about that? Quite sure. Okay. You see, because um, <clears throat> you proposed to Shreya Rampasad, I'm not sure you're man enough to marry Shreya Maharaj. Maharaj, just because I don't blackmail, threaten, and cheat other people, do not for a second take me for a weak man. I have taken on bigger and meaner men than you. And one. Fruitcake. Or maybe we'll just save that for dessert. Yes. Hey, Shriya, can we talk quickly? Make it quick. Sure. Um, you enjoying the lamp? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess. Mom broke it, but I fixed it. She broke it? Yeah, she dropped it on the floor. How am I going to win her over? No, that's not going to happen. You don't think so? No, she hates you. You know, that rule about the lamp and that it can only go to a girl child. I thought it was a pretty stupid rule. Never understood it. But I think I get it now because women are supposed to lead us and, and guide us to show us the way. Don't be guided by hate, Shreya. Be guided by the light. I just want to make your life easier. <laughs> 